Uh, it is my great uh, and distinct pleasure to introduce the Henry Hazlitt lecturer, Peter Schiff. Schiff, president of Euro Pacific Capital, is familiar to everyone who has watched financial coverage in the last year. He is famed for being the most vocal financial economist to have perfectly predicted the crash. He also happens to be a dedicated student of the Austrian school. He is the author of The Prophetic, Crash Proof, and most recently, the little book of Bull Moves in Bear Markets. Whenever he speaks about finance and economics, he also seeks to teach sound economic theory, writing for publications such as the New York Times and the Washington Post. Today he will speak on the relationship between theory and practice in financial markets. Peter Schiff. You know, I just looked at the topic uh, for my speech about uh, 30 seconds ago before I walked in the door. <laughs> but apparently I'm talking about um, why, you know, why is it that people didn't see this coming or should people have known that this, this meltdown was coming? I don't know, is there anyone in this room that was surprised by the economic <laughs> meltdown? That, I mean, did, did anybody, did any, does anybody think it's over? Anybody raise your hand if you think it's over? And... Does anybody think that the government, the government solutions are going to work or that they're going to help? Is there any, anybody? One, one? All right, so I, I guess there's really no reason for me to speak here. I don't know that, I, I don't know that I'm going to tell anything, anybody anything they don't know. But um, in anybody, if you want to indulge me, I guess I can talk about it a little bit anyway. But, I mean, I, you know, I don't know why it, 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 so few people seem to understand what was going to happen. I mean, I guess... You know, when you're living inside a bubble, it's, it's very difficult to actually see what's going on uh, from your point. But you know, it's just, you know, I, I lived through two of them because I, you know, I'm a stockbroker. And, you know, I was lived through the NASDAQ bubble. And to me, at that point in time, it seemed pretty obvious what was going on in 1997, 98, 99. I mean, it seemed obvious to me that these companies that people were touting couldn't possibly be worth uh, the prices that people were paying. Yet nobody seemed to be able to figure that out back then. I mean, everybody seemed to be living in this new era, uh, and, the, and the Internet had uh, captured everybody's imagination. I mean, to me, I couldn't see the difference between the, the Internet, really, 